In this tutorial, I will show you how to hide the annoying little title text tooltip that is displayed when you hover a Divi image. I'm Victor from DiviMundo.com. Let's get started. You'll find all the resources needed in this blog post on DiviMundo.com. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you'll find the link in the description below the video. So let's start by having a look at the image title attribute and what it is and what it's not. So if I go to my test website, I've added two DV image module here. And if I hover one of them, you can see a tooltip on the image saying book hyphen club hyphen illustration hyphen 10. And this is the image title and it is added by WordPress by default when you upload an image. And if we head over to the media library, we can see that it's actually based on the file name. So the file name in this case is book club illustration 10.png and WordPress strips the file extension .png, but it's still pretty cryptic with the hyphens and the lowercase letters and it doesn't really say anything to the visitor. You can also see another field here for alternative text and it's important to not mix those up. So the alternative text or the alt text is super important for your accessibility. Uh, if uh, you have visually impaired visitors that are using screen recorders, this text will be read out loud uh, and should describe the purpose of the image. So that's an alternative for the image for those who can't see it. You can also have uh, images uh, disabled in your browser if you have a poor internet connection, but you still want to understand the purpose of the images on the page. And uh, the alternative text is also really important for the SEO. In this case, maybe I should add the alternative text, person reading a book. Now for the title text, you can use that to add additional content like context, like an image caption that is displayed on hover. But you should never keep this default title text because it will just add clutter for people who hovers your images intentionally or unintentionally. So you could of course just remove this uh, and uh, go on with your life in your website. Or you can add a meaningful title text here that you want to be displayed on hover. But it's easy to forget this. The logic way would be to turn this around saying that, okay, uh, by default, the title text should not be displayed on hover. And if I want to display it on hover in these rare cases, I want to be able to enable it. So that's what we are going to do here. So I'll put the title text back and uh, I'll close this. So to do this, we'll just need a little CSS snippet. So let's head back to the blog post and scroll down to this one. So let's copy this snippet by clicking in the squares and I'll go back to my site and I'll head over to the theme customizer. In here, I'll go to the additional CSS tab and I'll paste this snippet. So what this says is that the image should have no pointer events, for example, tooltips. And this will not disable links in images, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's click publish to save this. And we can go back to the page and refresh it. And now if I hover, there is no tooltip at all. And the same thing for image 2, of course. And if I right click to see the source code, let's see here. Here we go. You can see that we still have the alt text and we still have the title text. So if you want to use the title text for SEO reasons or anything else, uh, this will still be there in the source and can be found. So you will not remove anything from the site. You will just hide the hover tooltip. What if I want the title text to be displayed on image two, but not on image one or the other images by default? Then we need to add another little CSS snippet. So let's head back to the blog post and we scroll down. And yeah, I can mention also that I have added a script that will completely remove the title text from your HTML code. I wouldn't re recommend this solution. 
since this will prevent you from adding titles to any images on your site, they will be removed from the source code. But if you would like to do it for some reason, here it is. But I'll go for the CSS snippet this time and uh, to make exceptions and display the image title hover for specific images, I will copy the second snippet here. Click the squares and I'll go back to the theme customizer and I'll add it after the first snippet. So what this does is that if I add the class DM display title in my image module or, or in the image in a classic editor or a Gutenberg page post, uh, it will actually display the title on hover for this specific image. So I'll just copy this so I will remember it, DM display title, and we click publish. So if I head back to the page, we'll enable the Divi Visual Builder. And now I'll go to image two because that's the one where I want the tooltip to display. And I click the cogwheel and I'll go to advanced. And uh, by the way, if you go to attributes, you can also see and update the alt text and the title text here for this specific image. Uh, so this is another way of doing it. But in this case, I'll go to the top and I'll add a CSS class. So that's the second field. And I'll paste DM display title. So I'll add this class to the image number two. And I'll close this one. Let's exit and save. So now if I hover image number two, it will display the title text as a tooltip. But if I go to image number one, it will not. And the same goes for other images by default. Thank <music> you.